day welcome to my youtube channel my name is Naomi Claire for some of you who may not know me thank you guys for clicking on the video let's get right into this as you can already tell from the description below we're going to be talking about how to get into the candy machine business all right so for me personally I bought a whole bunch of candy machines last summer and I found the all of these candy machines right off of Facebook marketplace so if I can find something off Facebook Marketplace and you know someone in my area, maybe the same can happen for you. I believe I got very lucky because the man who I bought it from, shout out to Mr. Danny, um, he literally was selling his whole business. He was a truck driver. He was you know constantly being out of town and it just wasn't working for his schedule. So I got lucky. I'm sure you all can too. I'm sure there's someone out here there who wants to sell their machine, candy machine business. Um, but yeah, check Facebook Marketplace first. The second place I would check is when you're going out to local areas and you might see candy, different candy machines in the mall, in the barber shops, in the different um, auto shops that you go to when you get your car fixed, check the machines and see if they have a number on it. I know with my machines I put my number on it just in case you know something happens and the store owner you know needs to call me to, to come service them. Check those check to see if they have a number on it call up that candy machine owner and you know let them know that you're interested in buying one of their machines I know that could be a way that you could get your candy machines if Facebook marketplaces out of them um, but yeah I would suggest that because I know that I, me personally I put my number in the machines just so that you know people can know like if there's an issue make sure to call me I've never had anyone call me but I'm giving you all this advice because that's the way you could get into contact with these candy machine owners. And I say that to say you never know if that candy machine owner maybe bit off more than they could chew. Originally when I got into this business, I definitely did. Like I said, I bought an entire candy machine business off of a man who owned like 30 plus machines. And did I have any place to, you know, place all of these machines when I first got them no throughout the span I've really you know, gone out and I'll, I'll get into another video of how of my story my journey what have you and how exactly I got business off the ground and how I got it working and how I got it into different stores and stuff like that if those candy machine owners are anything like me then they're more than willing to get a few off of their hands because I mean more money is great but not everyone is tied around making you know money sometimes it's the money is not worth the stress or what have you so that could be something that you could be looking into another thing that you all can do is purchase your candy machines online where you will purchase them brand new instead of used me personally because I didn't even go that route I wouldn't suggest it but that is an option that you all have you heard it from me I have a successful candy machine business and I have bought all of my machines used. I made sure that they were sanitized, washed, and everything like that before servicing them, of course. But um, yeah, that's a quick um, few tips on how you could possibly start your candy machine business. And I'll go more into depth. That was just a really quick overview. Um, so this is the first video, part one of my candy machine series. If you all like this content, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And um, tune into the next video. All right, have a good one. Bye bye.